Lord, we worship you. We bless your name. We thank you for this privilege to come before you this morning. Lord, be magnified, be exalted, O Lord, in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. I want us to begin this uh, our prayers this morning by asking God, let the meditations of my heart and the words of my mouth be acceptable in your sight, O Lord. Let us begin to pray. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, Lord, I come unto you this morning, O God. Lord, you uh, turn your light into me, O God. Father, search me, O God, as if there be anything in me, O God, that will be offensive unto you, O God. Let the meditations of my heart, O God, and the words of my mouth, O God, be acceptable in your sight, O Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. Don't let my coming this morning be in vain, O God. I've come to meet with you, the King of kings, the Lord of lords. Touch me, O God, Father. Do not pass me by, O Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Our first prayer is taken from Isaiah 44, 21, um, 21 to 22, and he raised us. Remember this, O Jacob and Israel, for you are my servant. O Israel, you will not be forgotten by me. I have blotted out like a thick cloud your transgressions, and like a cloud your sins. Return to me, for I have redeemed you. We have come to God this morning. We have not come to meet with any man. And uh, we don't want God, as God is moving this morning, we don't want God to pass us by because of any iniquity. So, brethren, I want us to begin to pray this morning. Oh, Lord, do not forget me. Blot out my transgressions, my sins, anything, any blood, any stain, any blemish in me that will not allow you to touch me this morning. Let us begin to pray. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, oh, Lord, I've come unto you, oh, God. Search me, oh, Lord, Father. And if there be any iniquity, any transgression in me, O oh God, any blemish, O oh God, any secret sin, O oh God, any presumption sin in me, O oh God, that will not allow you, O oh God, to touch me this morning, that will not allow you to bless me this morning. Father, have mercy, O oh Lord, upon me, O oh God. Forgive me, O oh God, Father. Blot out my transgressions, O oh God. Wash them away with the blood of Jesus. Redeem me, O oh God, from any bondage, any captivity, O oh God, Father. All evil, Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, I've come to receive mercy from you this morning. I've come to your throne of mercy this morning, O oh God. Release your mercy upon me, O oh God. And give me grace to worship you in spirit and in truth, O oh Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Isaiah 44, 26 says, Who confirms the word of his servant and performs the counsels of his messenger? This morning we are going to pray for the ministration that will be coming, that God is going to confirm the word of his servant and also perform the counsel in the name of Jesus. Let us begin to pray. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, as the message shall be coming for this morning, confirm the word of your servant, O Lord, and perform your counsel, O God, where your messenger, Lord, through every ministration, Lord, this morning, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Lord, I pray that, Lord Jehovah God, you back up, O God, every ministration with signs and wonders following in the name of Jesus. Everyone that shall comfort, O God, it shall accomplish, O God, its purpose in our lives, Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. Young shall be destroyed, O God. Father, Lord, the sick shall be healed, O God. God. Father, those who are downcast, O oh God, that they shall be restored unto you, O oh God. The lost, O oh God, shall be restored unto you, O oh Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus, as your word shall be coming for this morning, O oh God. There shall be healing, there shall be salvation, there shall be restoration. Lord, there shall be showers of blessing upon your people, O oh Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Our next prayer, the anchor, anchor scripture is taken from Isaiah 28, verse 5. And it says, In that day, which is today, the Lord of hosts will be for us a crown of glory and a diadem of beauty to the remnant of his people. This morning, it has been declared as the month of new things, as the year of excellence. We are going to pray, Father, this month, this year, even as you have spoken, be unto me a crown of glory and a diadem of beauty in Jesus. Let us begin to pray. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. 
Even Lord, as this month has been declared the month of new teen, in this year of excellence, O oh God. Be unto me, O oh God, my family, O oh God. Lord, a crown of glory, O oh God. Be a diadem of beauty unto us in the name of Jesus. Make everything beautiful in our lives, O oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. Glorify your name, O oh God, in all that concerns us, in all that pertains unto us in the name of Jesus. Father, perfect all that concerns us, O oh God. Indeed, O oh God, do new things in my life, O oh God. Do new things in my family, O oh God. Do new things, O oh Lord, in the body of Christ, O oh God. Do new things even in this nation, O oh God. In all the nations of the world, O oh Lord. Of Jesus, I've just spoken, oh God. Let it be so, oh Lord, in my life, in my family, Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Our next prayer, the anchor scripture is taken from Isaiah 28, um, the verse 7, the latter part of 7, and it says, They err in vision and they stumble in judgment. This morning, for all for God to do new things in our lives. For us to manifest excellence, we have to let God guide us so that we don't err and so that we don't stumble in decisions we take. So this morning we are going to ask God for help. Father, help us not to err in vision, nor stumble in judgment as we see for excellence this year in Jesus. Let us begin to pray. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, Lord, I call upon you, O oh God. Help us not to err in vision, O oh God. Lead us, O God, Father. Guide us, direct us, O God, in the path to go, O Lord. Your voice only, Lord, we shall hear in the mighty name of Jesus. Hold us by the hand, O Lord, Father. Do not forsake us, O God. Lead us, O Lord, in the path of righteousness, O God. That, Lord, everything may become new in our lives, O God, in the mighty name of Jesus. That we may manifest excellence, O God, in every area of our lives, O Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, the wisdom we need, O God, give unto us, O God. The grace we need, O oh God, Father, release unto us in the name of Jesus. We shall see clearly, O oh God, Father, and we shall walk in line with your directions, O oh Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, we worship you, O oh Lord. Lord, I shall not err in your vision. I shall not stop in your judgment, O oh Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. We are seeing in the attitude of prayer, as Isaiah 28, 16, the latter part says, Whosoever believes will not act hastily. We have the tendency as human beings to act hastily, to, to, to hear in judgment. But this morning, we are going to ask God for wisdom. We are going to ask God for his help. We are going to ask God for his intervention. So that in our quest, oh God, for him to do new things in our lives, for us to manifest excellence, we shall not deviate from his way. Let us begin to pray. Father, Lord, we pray, oh God, give us the grace and the wisdom, oh God, not to act hastily in all our ways in the mighty name of Jesus. In our decisions, oh Lord, even in our thoughts, oh God, Father, give us the grace, the wisdom, oh God, that we need, oh God, Father, to act in line with your will, oh God, Father, to walk in line, oh God, with your will for us, oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. Help us not to deviate from your ways, oh God. Uphold us, oh Lord, to the end, oh God. Teach us in the way to go, oh Father. Lead us and guide us, oh God, Father. Every step of the way, oh God, open our eyes to see what we need to see, oh God, Father. Speak to us, oh God, Father. Speak to our hearts, oh God, and give us the grace to obey you, oh Lord, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. The anchor scripture for the next prayer is taken from Isaiah 28, 18, and it says, your covenant with death will be annulled and your agreement we show will not stand. This morning we are going to decree over ourselves the word of God in the mighty name of Jesus. Every covenant of untimely death concerning me, my family is annulled, aborted in the name of Jesus. Let us begin to pray. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, Father, this year, oh God, this month, oh God, I decree in the mighty name of Jesus according to your word. Every covenant of death, oh Lord, concerning me, concerning my family is annulled, aborted, cancelled, revoked, overturned in the mighty name of Jesus. Every satanic agreement 
fight, oh God, with the kingdom of darkness, oh God, concerning me, concerning my family, concerning everything that pertains to us, oh God, shall not stand, Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, Lord, I decree, oh God, that have brought us to the month of February in this year 2020 and beyond, oh Lord. Father, every agreement, oh God, Father, every covenant of untimely death, oh God, concerning me, on everyone that concerns me, oh God, is not aborted, oh God. He shall not stand, he shall not come to pass, oh Lord. The number of our days I shall fulfill in the name of Jesus. The number of our days we shall fulfill, oh Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. No Lord of us shall die young, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Preserve our lives, oh Lord, in our going out, in our coming in, oh Lord, in our rising, in our sitting, in our sleeping, oh God. Father, preserve our lives, oh God. Keep us safe, oh Lord, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Our next prayer, the scripture is taken from Isaiah 28, 21, and it says, For the Lord will rise up as Mount Perazim, that he may do his work, his awesome work, and bring to pass his art, his unusual art. This morning we are going to pray, Father, arise and do your awesome work in every area of my life, my family, in the mighty name of Jesus. Let us begin to pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, O oh Lord, I call upon you. Arise, O oh Lord, and do your awesome work in every area of my life, in every area of my family, in every area of my family. Lord, in this ministry, Lord, in this nation, Lord, in all the nations of the world, O oh Lord. Arise, O oh Lord, Father, even as you is written in your word, O oh God, where your enemies shall be scattered, O oh God. Father, do that which you alone can do, O oh God. Do your unusual acts in my life, O oh God. Do your unusual hearts in my family, O oh God. Lord, do a new thing in our lives, O oh God, that will make everyone to hear in their ears shall tingle, and every mouth will say concerning us, Lord. The Lord has done this for them, O oh Lord. Let that be our testimony, O oh God. Let that be our portion, O oh Lord, Father, in the name of Jesus. Arise, O oh Lord, in in this month of February, oh God, in this year 2020, oh God, and do your unusual acts in my life, in my family, Lord, in this ministry, in the lives of my brethren, oh Lord, in the lives of those who are connected and related to us, oh Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Lord, we worship you. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Our next prayer is taken from Isaiah, the anchor scripture came from Isaiah 28, 26, and it says, For he instructs him in right judgment, for God teaches him. For, her, for God to do new things in our lives, he needs to teach us, and we need to have a teachable heart. So this morning, I want us to pray. Father, teach me and instruct me in the way that I should go to manifest excellence and also give unto me a teachable and obedient heart in the name of Jesus. Let us begin to pray. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, Lord, I call upon you this morning. Father, teach me, O oh Lord, and instruct me in the way that I should go, so that I may manifest excellence in every area of my life in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord God, I pray, O oh God, give me an obedient heart unto you, O oh God, Father, that when you speak, O oh God, that we hear, O oh God, and that we obey in Jesus' name. Remove every stony heart from me, O oh Lord, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, have mercy upon me, O oh God. Help me, Lord, to be faithful unto you. Help me, O oh Lord, to be obedient unto you, O oh Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Psalm 17, 7 says, O oh, you who save those who trust in you, from those who rise up against them. When God is about to do something in our lives, the enemy is not always happy. But we thank God for this scripture that says, God saves those who trust in him from those who rise up against him, against them. So this morning we are going to pray unto God. Father, because I put my trust in you, show me your loving kindness and save me from those who rise up against me in Jesus' name. Let us begin to pray. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, Lord, because I put my trust in you, O Lord, show me your loving kindness, O God, in this month of February, O God, in this year 2020, O God, Father, and save me from all those who rise up against me, O God, all those who want to enter your blessings in my life, O God, all those who want to stop that which I have proposed to do in my life, in my family, O God, Father, in the name of Jesus, O God, save me, O Lord, save my family, O God, from those who rise up against us, Lord, in the mighty name of 
of Jesus. Show us your loving kindness, O oh God, in this month of February, O oh God, in the remaining months in 2020, O oh God, that your name alone may be glorified, O oh Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Psalm 17, 8 to 9 says, Hide me under the shadow of your wings from the wicked who oppress me, from my, deadly, from my deadly enemies who surround me. This morning we are going to pray as God is about to do new things in our lives. God, we are going to pray to God to hide us under his wings and to protect us from the wicked. We may not be able to see them because the Bible says we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers of darkness. So this morning let us begin to pray. Father, hide me under your wings and protect me from the wicked, protect me from oppressors, protect me from deadly enemies that surround me in the name of Jesus. The enemies that I see, the enemies that I don't know of, oh God. All those who pretend to be friends but they are actually enemies, Lord, principalities, powers of darkness, oh God, witches and wizards, Father, Lord, I call upon you this morning, oh God. Hide me under your wings, O Lord, Father, and deliver me, protect me, O God, from the wicked, O Lord. Protect me from oppressors, O God. Protect me from all those who will not want your blessings, O God. Lord, I need to manifest in my life, in my family, in the name of Jesus. All those who consider themselves as Pharaoh in my life, O God. Father, I ask for your mercy this morning, O God. Hide me under your wings, O God, Father, that your glory, O God, that it might be manifest in my life, in my family, O God. You know that pertinent all to us, O oh God, in this church, O oh God, in the lives of my brethren, O oh God, in the lives of those who are connected and related to me, O oh Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Isaiah 65, 21, 23 says, They shall build houses and inhabit them. For as the days of a tree, so shall the days of my people. They shall not labor in vain, nor bring forth children for trouble. For they shall be the descendants of the blessed of the Lord and their offspring with them. This morning, we have the power in our tongue. So I want us to begin to declare unto ourselves this morning that as God has spoken, we shall build houses and inhabit them in the name of Jesus. Let us begin to pray. And let us begin to prophesy unto ourselves. Father, I prophesy unto myself in the mighty name of Jesus. I shall build houses and inhabit them in the name of Jesus. I shall plant vineyards, O Lord, in the name of Jesus, and I shall eat the fruit thereof in the name of Jesus. I shall not work for another to eat in the name of Jesus. Lord, Father, I pray as the days of a tree, O God, so shall be the days of my life, my family, O God, in the mighty name of Jesus. We shall grow old in vitality, and we shall be fruitful in every aspect of our lives in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, I shall not labor in vain in the name of Jesus. I shall not walk like a giant and eat like an ant in the name of Jesus. Father, Lord, I pray that even the work of my hands, O God, shall take me to places, shall celebrate me, Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. I shall be fruitful, O Lord. I shall not bring forth children for trouble in the name of Jesus. Father, my offspring and my descendants, O God, shall be blessed of the Lord in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, I thank you, O Lord. As we have spoken, O God, so shall it be, O Lord, Father, because there is power in the tongue, O Lord. Lord, let him put your blessing upon it, O God. Put your power upon it, O God. Put your seal upon it, O God. And let it be so, O Lord, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Lord, we worship you. We bless your name. Be magnified, O Lord. Let us just pray unto God. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable unto you as you have prayed that God will bring you to pass in the name of Jesus. Lord, we worship you. Lord, we bless your name. Thank you, Father, for all the prayers we have lifted up before you. You are not a God that documents prayers. You are able to do exceedingly, abundantly, above all we have ever asked or think of. Thank you, Father. We give you glory. We give you honor. We commit the rest of today's service to your hands. Take preeminence, O God. And let your name alone be glorified. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Amen.